We're gonna make a um, a snare drum now. Uh, we made a bass drum before. We're gonna make a a snare sound um, so we can uh, put a snare into our tune. Um, now a snare is a little bit trickier than um, a bass drum. There's a lot of high frequencies um, um, in it, and we need to kind of recreate what it actually sounds like when you hit a snare. Um, so a good way to begin is to think about how a snare actually works. So you're you're hitting it with a stick. Um, and it's hitting a membrane, the membrane's vibrating, it's resonating through the actual um, cavity of the drum and then there's usually a membrane on the bottom of the drum which also vibrates and helps resonate uh, everything in the middle and um, you can also have um, metal, um, metal strings along the bottom of the snare drum to give it a ring. Um, so that's a good way to think about it, so by starting to tackle this, um, the first thing I'm going to do is load up an operator into my instrument rack um, and I'm going to call this, let's call this, uh, what should we call this, hit. And I'm going to load up uh, white noise, but I'm going to no load up noise loop. The difference between noise loop and noise white is noise loop will have um, kind of a sample that you can re-pitch. Whereas noise uh, white, you can't pitch it, it's pure white noise, so it'll always, always be the same. Let's use w noise loop for now. Now I want to get a, let's put it on fixed, so we pick a particular frequency. Now I want to make this a very short hit, I want it really 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 short. So I'm going to go to the envelope section, bring the um, sustain right down. So that'll, that'll do us for now. Now I'm going to use a, an instrument in Ableton called Corpus, and Corpus is an interesting kind of, um, it's an effect, it, it comes from the uh, the collision instrument which um, kind of tries to physically model what it's like to actually hit something. Think of corpus as something which resonates whatever it's fed. So if I just simply bring the dry wet value up on the corpus, you can hear it kind of resonates what it's fed. If we move the decay around we can make it shorter, longer, we can change, change the tone, all that kind of stuff. Change what, what the material's made of, etc. There's also a drop down menu of what kind of uh, I don't know, physical substance that you want to resonate is. Um, in this case, let's go for a membrane. So a membrane would be... So I'm basically just using this to get it kind of a, a hit sound. Um, we can even make this shorter. All about finding the right spot. It sounds like a hit to me. That's great. Um, now I'm going to add in another operator, and this is going to have a lot more white noise in it. Um, this is the one we'll call this noise. Uh, just noise. This is the one that's kind of going to be the guts of the snare. Now for this one, we're going to just use the noise white. You can hear it's very very loud and very very uh, in your face. So let's um, let's go to the envelope and again drag this down. Give it a bit of a filter. Get rid of the resonance. Maybe even a little bit of attack. And I want to put a an EQ8 over here. Drag it in after the white noise. Um, first, let's just get rid of all the bass uh, frequencies if there are any by um, turning it into a high pass. And let's play with these to try and find a. So if we go back over to the hit and bring the decay up of the corpus. It 
Another thing that I like to do here, we, we will go back to those and, and play with them a bit more, is to add in another operator here. Let's listen to that one. This is uh, this is going to be a tone, a sine wave, with a pitch envelope to give it a bit of a punch. So I've turned the pitch envelope on, turn it up, make the decay really short. I'm trying to get that kind of sound so I can load in another EQ8 after this. Get rid of all the bass. And then use it to find a, a bit of a punchy spot. And let's go into the uh, envelope and just get rid of the. Let's put it together with that white noise. Get rid of the release. Bring the set down. There. I'm just going to insert a quick new MIDI track and load in that kick drum we made just so we can um, have a good listen to how it sounds with a kick drum. Pull it, take the kick. There you go. So let's put in uh, a quick loop. We'll take the kick. That'll do us for now. We'll put a MIDI clip in here. Could be a bit brighter. Now see this, this is still not uh, quite right, so I'm going to turn this to a fixed value. Just, just move around the frequency until I can... Back to this hit and play with the corpus a little bit more. Play with the noise a bit more. Bring in some more noise. Let's bring a noise loop. Let's make this noise envelope really, really quick. I'm not sure if I like that corpus on there for now. How about a slight bit of reverb after there? Put it after this hit. We'll, we'll keep using this hit here. 
a reverb. Lots of pretty like. Little list decay time. The noise a bit more. Let's try compressing it a bit. Let's even bring one of these in. Start stacking up the white noise. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's have a listen to it. Maybe if we widen that a little bit. Let's put a to the filter delay widening trick. Bring the feedback right down. Oops. Pretty good, and let's um, the stop right here, which is the punch. Even bring that up a bit more. Change the pitch a bit. There we go. That's my snare. How's that? And let's uh, let's do some uh, macro knob, uh, macro knob signing. Um, well, for a start, we could change on the noise. The uh, so this is the loudest one, isn't it? Change will map the uh, decay to one knob. And we'll also map the decay of the filter to that knob. Oh, 
we want to make sure that the filter decay is a little bit longer. So we'll just call that length. There's not too much else we can do. We can change the uh, pitch of the punch. Be the best way to do that. Mapping the frequency to a knob. Collapse punch freak. Right, so that's my attempt at a snare drum. Um, it's kind of a bit girly. I'll call it clear. <laughs> clear the snare. Let's get these couple of colours because I like to have the colours in. Awesome. And let's save that. And there. Done. TomCosm.com.